I feel the heart of my music comes from folk music. I read that you started off solo as a singer-songwriter. Do you remember what kind of lyrics, yeah, what were your songs about? What were my songs about? Um, all sorts of things. Um, gosh, um, love and friendship and um, oh, all sorts of things. Are there any similarities maybe in, in what you do now? That I think the similarity would be um, just the, the, I feel the heart of my music comes from folk music and um, the, the narrative, the structure of telling stories is very interesting to me in both, in both um, styles. What I'm doing now feels much more comprehensive of um, different identities um, that I feel are a part of who I am, um, whereas the singer-songwriter, um, it's a, a very pure form of telling stories. Um, I was just watching a Bob Marley, uh, a bunch of Bob Marley videos. It was raining the other day, so it was on YouTube. And watching him with the Whalers live, the live footage, and then watching the same song with him alone, you can just see the, um, the power of the music, just the simple lyricism of the, of the music. But did you discover maybe parallels when comparing folk music more in a traditional Western style than to maybe folk music from another region of the world? Is, is, there, is there maybe in this essence of, of simplicity maybe, yeah, would I think, you say what? I think there is something um, very similar. It, um, um, I don't exactly know how to characterize it. I guess it would be music that um, doesn't feel um, like it belongs to us section of society, but it's avail it's very available, it's very accessible music, and it's music that you could hear on the streets. It's a, you don't have to be, you know, training millions of years to be able to just sing a song or to get out and communicate in a public in a public setting. So it feels like folk, like um, people, everyday yeah. people can make this kind of music, they understand it, um, or they feel some sort of connection to it. But do you think that maybe now nowadays folk artists and maybe also yourself are incorporating more of the, the styles maybe that weren't that accessible now into more popular <coughs> music, uh, so to say? I think that people are um, around the world are, are trying to find um, an idea of a, a global identity and they're pulling from many different aspects. So many bands are pulling from different types of roots music and, and blending it into a contemporary um, pop sound. Um, and it feels to me like a yearning for something um, common between us. Almost like um, if, you can, if you can blur the lines enough, maybe you can, your focus is so soft you can see the similarities between human beings. But do you maybe then think if I can, yeah, if I can say globalization of music now, maybe do you think maybe also it can have some negative side effects because of some of the pure music gets ruined a little bit by uh, the, uh, the pop music incorporating that? I think that um, people who are traditionalists and doing traditional music um, will never be ruined. I think that what they do is something very different um, and it's something very beautiful. Um, but I don't think that's what artists like myself are trying to do. I'm not trying to be a traditionalist and I'm not trying to um, <clears throat> represent traditions. Um, it's more um, a reinterpretation and a um, um, developing a new language um, that is um, a combination of things rather than repeating a tradition.